Hey everyone, welcome to Martin James Designs. This is a channel where I'm always creating, building new cool things, whether it be motorcycles or houses or my custom dream shop or art. This is what I like to do is just create. So on this series, it is building our farmhouse and this is the tile episode. So we've basically got Dennis from Sea to Sky Ceramics coming in. He's done, been working hard for the last couple of weeks getting the tile going. I've documented the whole process and I'm going to do this in two videos because it was quite a lot of work. So this is going to be part one of the tile. I figured we'd just jump right into it. All right, check it out. Tile just arrived. Adam picked the custom pallet off the ground. Best one out of the bunch. <laughs> they packed this thing almost 2,500 pounds. So we're going to have to take it off. Split it up. It's officially time for tile. So we're about to get started here. And if you guys have been following my motorcycle builds, you'll notice somebody was always in the video with me. And he's also a tiler from Sea to Sky Ceramics. It's Dennis, he's here. So he's gonna get going on the master bathroom this morning. What are we starting with this morning? Uh, we're going to do some anti-fracture membrane, some DITRA, uh, some waterproofing, and right. get everything prepped for, for tile. Okay, so the, this is the product we're using? So the, the thin roll there is called Curdy, and it's a waterproofing membrane. Uh, it's got, essentially, it's like a roll of plastic with some uh, fibers on each side, so that it will stick to the concrete, and that uh, is waterproofs everything. And, uh, and this roll is Vitra, so that's a, a waterproofing and any fracture membrane. Uh, essentially, uh, separates the tile from the uh, substrate to stop cracking or anything in the uh, floor. Nice. So Dennis is gonna get this laid down today. Yes, we're gonna lay that, get this all prepped and cleaned, and uh, get everything ready for tile. Nice. Dennis has laid the Ditra yesterday, got everything all ready to go to start laying tile. So here's the tile we've chose. We've chose a hexagon matte black tile for the entire floor. That's going to carry all the way up the tub and then it's going to carry over the curb and into the shower and the ceiling as well. And then we've chosen this for the tile floor in the shower and a matte white 4x16 for the walls in the shower. So it should look pretty good. bathroom here here's Dennis okay what, what's that purple stuff so this is just a waterproofing membrane it's called a uh, hydro band okay it's made by tech and uh, it's a roll-on waterproofing membrane and uh, you just roll it on and it dries like a uh, plastic like a like a rubber seal yeah so it seals anything from water just nice. to protect the, uh, the concrete board and everything behind it Awesome. So you don't really need the Schluter or you put this go on after the Schluter? Uh, I put the, no, this is just how I do it. So I yeah. put the Schluter in the corners just to make the corners nice and strong. Oh, okay. And then uh, I'll fill in the rest of it with all the hydro band. Nice. And then we'll use these seals on the pipes here, the Schluter pipes. And the Schluter seals just on here and there to make sure everything's oh, nice. So they waterproof all water the plumbing? Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Nice. And I'll do one on here too. You got your laser level? Yeah, just do uh, here I'm going to do my 
Tyler. Okay, that's it. Awesome. Okay, Dennis is starting to lay the design for the tile. So what, what was your thought process here? So we're just trying to pick like a focal point in the room. So uh, when you walk in, you see like a full pattern here on the curb. And it's gonna continue up the curb here. It's got uh, half and half up the side here. So it'll be another full tile up here. Nice. And then a half here. So you'll get the full just of the pattern. And then there'll be a black shooter trim that caps it off here. Right at the top. Oh, it's official. official. Dennis is underway tiling. Yeah. Can I put my hand here? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a, a big soccer ball. I know it does, eh? It's going to be cool. Cody's going to uh, set some hexagons here. So where do I put one down? Like Wherever you want. Yep. Like, so if I, I set it down, like, say here? Yeah, so put it towards the tile and, and push pull it, it out. Yeah, don't push too hard. And then you just keep... Kind of slide it out a little bit, away from the tiles, there you go. Yep. Like that? Yep. And you don't want to work your way too far out. Can no, you kind of stay in a, in a pattern and go all the way out, yep. Sweet. That's it, man. Okay. This is seriously, I would say this is like extremely therapeutic. It is, man. Like literally just buttering the yeah. mortar on the ground and setting tiles is like extremely peaceful. Yeah, it's fucking chill. Like... I could use this as meditation practice. Yeah, probably. This is what Dennis has. What is this stuff? Got some uh, heat membrane with a uh, little bit of extra insulation on it. So that's the vapor barrier Supposed that goes be, on the floor, which has some R value to it. And then- to be about 30% more efficient than uh, running the cable on the concrete. And then we also, this is where all the cable goes. It sits in these grooves. So. Dennis is going to run all the electric cable and then skim coat it all and it will run up to a thermostat right here which will control this zone only. So this is just the electric mat and then the whole floor will be floated so we can tie it in to the hardwood which will be hardwood all the way through and you won't even notice the difference between outside and inside. This looks extremely peaceful. I don't know, look at these knee pads, that's how peaceful it is. <laughs> <laughs>
thing is though, when you're installing this, when this is wet, if you do have a problem and you start pulling it up, oh, it pulls the mat up. So I do sometimes you can leave it to dry, but yeah. And what spacing do you go at? You so it depends on the voltage and a lot of things. So you can go two is for like 120 volt with a tight pattern. You can go two, three, or you can go three, four. Yeah, and we're gonna go four because we already have a whole hydronic system in here that's heating the main floor. And we also have this thermal brake product. Yeah. So you can spread it out a bit more. So the wattage on this, just to kind of let you know, like this is only 1600 watts for this whole area. So that's like a base for it. Oh yeah. And you're heating what, 175 square feet of floor. Yeah. So it's super efficient. No kidding. Okay, like and it's warm on your feet, which is nice. Yeah, it makes the heat radiate from the floor up, so it feels warm. So it's much better. If you notice underneath Dennis there, that's the toilet. And we use a wax seal on that toilet when we install it. So he's keeping the electrical wire far enough around that wax seal so it doesn't heat up the toilet and it could accidentally leak if it got too much heat under the bowl. So it can actually melt it. Yeah. Put a thin layer of thin set on it to cover all the electrical wires, protect them, and get ready to lay the hardwood on this. Yeah. Looks good. All right, where are we at right now? We're at, Dennis is back. He's just finishing the grout in the master bathroom. He's working on that. So we're gonna cut this short into two episodes. And uh, this is going to be the end of the first episode. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave a comment. You guys go follow Cedar Sky Ceramics on Instagram right here. And uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.